So today is going to be a special episode of Chef's PSA because really it has nothing to do with being a chef. On today's episode, we're going to talk about my morning routine. Now, this episode is only going to live on YouTube. It's not going to be on Spotify like the other episodes. And the reason is, is because a lot of what I'm going to talk about today may not be applicable to all chefs. Now, I had mentioned my morning routine on a couple of podcasts. I've also been interviewed on a podcast where someone asked me about my morning routine and they were very curious. So I've had a lot of people message me recently and ask me for the details of my morning routine. I will say that there is a purpose behind everything that I do in my morning routine, and that is just for self-improvement, mental clarity, and to stay sharp. I'm a firm believer when I was a chef that I needed to remain sharp for all the things that come at you during the day. I was always looking for just a small competitive edge with whatever the day may throw at me. And as an executive chef, which I was for a number of years, I was dealing with everything from financial issues, employee issues, creativity issues, mitigating problems, and constantly having to think on my feet. Those are some of the pressures that come with being a chef. You work in this pressure cooker environment. On top of that, I'm naturally a curious person, and a lot of the things that I do were just because I found these things interesting. So let's get into what my morning routine looked like. I must say that my morning routine does take me about three hours. So whenever I had to go to work, for example, if I had to be there at 7 a.m., I would have to backtrack my drive minus three hours to wake up. So sometimes I'd be waking up at 3.30 in the morning just so I could get my morning routine done. Honestly, it was the best time of the day for me. It still is. Now that I'm no longer running professional kitchens, my morning routine is slightly longer. So the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I have a little book by my side that I'm reading, and I read a couple of pages in that book. Immediately after that, I do a mindfulness breathwork practice that I've been doing for quite some time, which includes a different type of yoga breathing, which is known as Ujjayi breathing, Kriya breathing, and Bastrika. I'm sure you could find very detailed videos on how to do those breathing exercises. The reason I like a mindfulness routine, and I would say of all the things that I do, the mindfulness routine is probably the most important because of all the stresses that you're dealing with during the day, a mindfulness routine helps you remain calm during the storm and the difficulty that you face. So if I had to drop all these things, that would be the last one that would come off. Once I'm done with that, I put my headphones on and I'm usually listening to an audiobook while I make my breakfast. And I got to say, my breakfast hasn't changed in a very long time. And the reason it doesn't is because I want that to remain as simple and decisionless as possible. We could get into decision fatigue on another episode, but basically I don't want to think about it so my breakfast doesn't change. It's a couple of almonds, some fruit, a cup of coffee. That really doesn't change and it hasn't changed for years. So it's a light breakfast with a little bit of protein with the, with the nuts in this case. While I'm listening to my audiobook, and by the way, most of the books that I read and listen to have nothing to do with culinary. Occasionally they do, but usually I'm not doing anything that has anything to do with the food world because I know I'm going to be fully immersed in that when I get to work. After I'm done with that, I read a couple of blogs that I enjoy reading. One is a health blog. I check the daily financial news, stock market prices, things like that. And then once I'm done with that, I play a couple of brain games on a website called Lumosity. So Lumosity.com. By the way, none of these people are sponsoring this show. I'm just telling you what my morning routine is. So I've been playing Lumosity games for the last 10 plus years I've been on Lumosity and every day there's about five or six games that I play that are basically puzzles that are supposed to help with neuroplasticity, basically keeping my mind sharp. So I'm doing everything from math games to speed puzzles to spelling and grammar exercises. Really, it's just all things that I know I'm going to use when I get to work because sometimes I got to be sharp on the math. I'm writing emails or I'm communicating with people. So I need to make sure that my linguistic skills are good, that my vocabulary is good and that my math skills are sharp. I'm dealing with a lot of money when it comes to running restaurants. So that takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to do these brain games. By the way, as I mentioned, I'm listening to an audiobook while all this is going on. I know multitasking is frowned upon, but this is just my morning routine and I'm telling you how I do it. I have to say that I am pretty good at these Lumosity games. I'm in the 99th percentile in all age categories. So not just in my age, but even in the youngest age of which is like 18 to 21. Once I'm done with that, I do a little bit of journaling, which probably takes me about 10 minutes. So I'm journaling my thoughts on things, whatever I'm thinking about for the moment. This could be very random. So there's no sense in getting into what that's about because it's personal. So sorry. And the reason I like to journal is because one, it's an expressive exercise. And two, there's something about the hand-mind-eye connection 
there have been studies that that's a good way to learn is by writing, not just by typing. So I specifically write versus type. After I'm done with that, I move to a different room because I have to change up the scenery and then I read. Standard is I'll read anywhere from five to 10 pages of a book a day. So this is a different book that I'm listening to. I've already taken my headphones off. And this is a different book than what I read first thing in the morning. So this is book number three for the day. So I read 10 pages of that book. What people may not know is on average, I finish about 50 to 100 books a year. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I'm listening to one, I'm reading two all simultaneously. And a lot of people will say, how do you finish so many books? It's like, well, I, I, I don't just stop and read. I read every single day and I read about five to 10 pages a day of a specific book. Plus I listen for about 30 minutes on one book and I read about five minutes on another book. So all of this compounds into many books by the end of the year. And the reason I like to read so many books is because I want to be versed on multiple subjects. You never know what type of conversations are going to come up. And I know a lot about the culinary industry, but it, there's a lot about the world that I'm fascinated by. So most of the books I read have nothing to do with culinary, but I want to be able to hold my own in conversations about other subjects. I love philosophy books. I love history books. I'm currently reading the works of Mencius is what I'm reading. And I'm also listening to a book about Alexander the Great. So two different books that I'm, I'm on right now. Again, I like to study the works of great people because I want to immerse my mind in what they were doing. After that, there's an app that I use called Elevate, and it's typically three games a day, and it has everything from memory games, math games, spelling, reading, and writing games. So there's three games a day. This probably takes me five to 10 minutes to get through all three games. Again, pretty fast, just to keep me sharp. I'm trying to warm up my brain while, and I'm drinking coffee while all this is happening, because usually by the time I would get to work, my brain was already ramped up math, spelling, memory, it's all been going caffeinated, sharp, because I knew when I got to work, there was going to be a lot coming at me. So my brain was used to dealing with a lot of different subjects and a lot of variety of problems that I could be facing throughout the day. After I'm done with the Elevate game, I practice a few rounds on Duolingo, which is a language learning app. Again, no one's sponsoring me, but that's the app that I use. I know a lot of people like some different apps. I like Duolingo because I'm on a streak. I'm about to get to my thousand day streak consecutive. I'm currently on Italian and I've been doing Italian for quite some time. I'm reasonably fluent in conversational Italian, but when you speak too fast, I do get a little confused. And after I'm done with Duolingo, I play a few games of chess or I take some chess lessons. So I use the app chess.com and I'll either play a couple of games usually blitz because it's fast. I don't want to be stuck on a 20 minute game or a 10 minute game. So I usually do a three to a five minute game. I want to go as quick as possible because I need to get to work or I'll take a, a chess lesson on chess.com or try and solve some of the puzzles. But usually there's some sort of chess game that's happening in the morning. And the reason I like chess so much, because I, I think when you're in a leadership role, chess more than any game that I've, that I'm familiar with really helps you think strategically. And I view, and I've, I've written about this in some of my books, I view the kitchen as like a game of chess and you got to be careful with every move that you make and it needs to be thought out. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm the best chess player. If you suck, I'm great. And if you're good, I suck. But I do enjoy the game and I enjoy playing chess quite often. After the game of chess, time to work out. And this might be something as simple as a yoga routine or some burpees, or maybe I'm just doing push-ups, or maybe it's a combination of all three. But after I get the workout in, my blood's pumping, a little bit sweaty, let's go take a shower and get ready for work. So that's what my morning routine looks like. And that's why it takes me three hours. Everything is designed to improve me in some forms, but all these things add up and they help me in everything else that I do. They prepare me for everything else that I may be facing. And they've also helped me be reasonably successful in any endeavor that I choose. And the reason is, is because I've taught myself how to learn and I've taught myself how to stay on task and remain disciplined. So anyway, that's the morning routine episode. Thank you very much. I hope that made sense. Feel free to ask me any questions. You could message me on Instagram at Chef's PSA. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button. I appreciate it. And go listen to the Chef's PSA podcast now available on YouTube also.